all those accomplishments that you did, all the things you've done in NASCAR, you did enter right. that foray where you were a driver and owner. Not many drivers actually do that and take on the entrepreneurship part of the sport. So, I mean, when you look back on that venture that was Mayfield Motorsports, I mean, you guys were running a shoestring operation. You make the Daytona 500 on a Cinderella story. When you look back on that <laughs> endeavor, <laughs> what's up? So that was another big one right there. I forgot to tell you all ago, about me, all the big parts of my career was that and right there is huge. You know, didn't even bring it up. So, yeah, I know the Mayfield Motorsports thing. I mean, when you look back on that, like realistically, how how big were you thinking Mayfield Motorsports could get with how, the organization, multi core car organization? What were, what were you thinking was going to be the trajectory there at Mayfield Motorsports? Well, you know, I, I was at the point in my career where I was like, you know, I need to do something. And, and I felt like that, um, um, you know, at the time, you know, I was kind of not blackballed, but just at the point where I, I couldn't, you know, get in, couldn't get another good ride that I wanted, you know, and there's a lot of things were happening, you know. And um, so I had big, you know, big, I guess you said big vision for it, but I certainly knew what it was, what it took to do that. You know, it takes a lot of money and a lot of people behind you and, and a lot of hard work. I mean, you got to work hard at it and. So when we first started that deal, that was, you know, we had all good intentions. It was just, um, we yet realized how tough it was going to be, you know. But, you know, we showed up, you know, made the Daytona 500, which we pretty much had to. Or we probably weren't going to be in business after that. You know, that's one of those deals where uh, you got to make Daytona to, to make everything else work out. And so we've done that. And, and uh, you know, then it got tougher, you know, from after that. You know, we missed a couple races and this, that, and the other. But then everything else happened after that that kind of, you know, shut it all down. But I felt like that we were on the right track. And, um, from what we were trying to do, you know, or, or accomplish. Um, I was wanting to switch back over to Dodge and, and had that pretty much uh, done deal. You know, I was going to get uh, Dodge support and, you know, motors and stuff like that, which would have certainly helped us a lot and had some other good sponsors you know, that was coming on board and then, you know, everything just takes off. But, you know, as, you know, a lot of racers will tell you out there, a lot of that stuff is, you know, once you start something like that, everybody wants to come on, everybody wants to be a part of it, tell you this, tell you that. And, you know, some of it don't work out anyway. So, but in our situation, you know, everything was looking good at the time until it, until all the other stuff happened after that. 